Good morning YouTube. Today's video is gonna be my first ever Ascension 20 run on the defect in Slade Spire. And for those of you who don't know, Ascension is basically whenever you beat the game, you ascend and you add one more difficulty layer on top of your game. And by the time you make it to the Ascension 20, you have 20 difficulty modifiers stacked on top of each other, all active at once, and your game becomes pain. And the runs generally go something like this. Anyways, I thought I would add a little explanation before the video starts so that, you know, everyone's on the same page here and you actually, actually know what the video is. <laughs> Basically, the game is hard. I'm trying to beat it. Enjoy. Awesome. Found a knob moment. Here we can get a potentially free super elite. Yeah. If, it, if none of these are encounters, which they probably are gonna be, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I want to get cold snap, I think. Compile could be good, but not not right now. Not right now. No, this is this is a terrible one. That's a better one. Definitely a better one. Oh, this, we, don't, we don't get it. Okay. And we're gonna go with this sh deck into a power super elite. Awesome. Or we could skip it and go upgrade. Let's go here and then the smith something. I feel like we can do the elite now. Hi. Never mind. Never mind. Do we try magnetism? Deal free damage. Oh, let's just get magnetism. Oh. This guy, man. A skill. Awesome. We attack. At again, this. Oh. Guy, man. Okay, well I lived. Did I build take it? Defrag, yeah. I'll take it. I'll come back, oh, why not? I want to upgrade defrag. ASAP. I always get knob, man, it's so annoying. Mandatory damage, epic. Opalinity. We have Cold Snap upgraded, right? So we don't need uh, Ball Lightning, I think. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, nice. We can deal 14 damage and kill one instantly. Do we not do loop or do we just... Uh, we want to do a cast. We also want to defend. Thank you. So we take like one damage. That was actually a pretty good start. This one here can be really annoying. And it is annoying because you got drew no block and take 8 damage for no reason. Awesome. See ya. Getting a dark up, we have loop, we wanna get dark. With loop, dark is very good, that's gonna let us kill this boss very easily. I'll get it. And we get those, perfect. Do we make doom? No doom, okay. What we wanna do is uh, make our first attack with vigor be doom. And do like, shit on damage. Or not.
It's gonna be so much fucking damage, but whatever. I'm like almost dead. There you fucking are. A million days. Nice. I live. Oh, great. Oh, it, it for once! For once! It did the thing I wanted! Jesus Christ! Ooh, meat. Turbo. Okay. Lose two potion, get a low relic. I don't want to lose 122 gold, that's way too much. Lose loop, I don't want to do that either because it's a good card that I like. I'll lose that. None trucks, okay. I got a heal. I should have done an encounter for free heal, actually. Doing this would be much better. But we got a relic here, I guess. Like, it's, it's not in the world, but... Oh, cool. That's good. Free echo form. focus. Uh, we want to get a... It's 6 damage. I want to pop Doom and Gloom to get the dark up. I feel like we just gotta do that. Get it in. We can take 6, but we need to get Doom up, like, super fast. Now we got that there. Good. We can defend. And strike. This should be fine. Sixty-six. Oh, he's dead. If we get the dual cast now, he's dead. We didn't. There we go. See ya. I think I could have just walked it earlier and killed him anyways. Bias cognition. Yes. Thank you. Base cognition is is very nice. Uh, runic. Dome. The potion bark is okay, but. We got two runics. I don't like them. I think they're bad. Well, runic is, is, is can let us set up uh, stuff like turbo into... Um, what's it called? Turbo multicast. Not that we have that, but, but it can allow us to play this when we need it. Which is very important. We don't have a hologram to do, to do that. They also have a million strikes in defense because they barely have removed cards. So that's also a problem. But it could be good if we just... Uh, yeah. Potion bark is also very nice. Sacred bark. We need to remove these though to, to, to do this. Getting the energy to clean the, clean the house shouldn't be a big problem. Yeah, with turbo. I get it. We have turbo to clean the hand if we need to. Now I want to go to the shop immediately and just remove a card. Remove a strike or something. We're gonna get one shop either way. You get two bonfires there to upgrade two things, that's gonna be important, but there's like... Oh, we get three if you want to. Jesus Christ, but we get... Yeah, we could just get a shop here and then do some encounters and get uh, bonf two bonfires, three bonfires, and then uh, do an elite up there. Pyramid helps us, helps us set up some stuff, so... Doom and Gloom. We got bias, though. I think I'm gonna go for that. Maybe one of the found. Where's my where's my tungsten blood, man? There you are. If I flex there, I might have been able to kill someone. No, I wouldn't have. Well, actually, he would have been lethal if I flexed. Shit. 
I keep I keep like playing things too fucking fast. It's so annoying. I have this like really bad habit of like, oh, there's a good card, I'll play it, and not consider anything. It's super annoying. I will pop that. 23 damage. It's actually not enough, never mind. We did do some more damage though, but. We need to block some damage. I'm getting so fucked here, man. Trick meat in the bone though. Now, where's my dual cast? Where's my turbo? Like, I'm drawing the things that I need the most last. It's so annoying. There you fucking are. Jesus Christ. Getting bailed out by the... Um, do we get... I mean, two turbos is probably overkill. And the best on what your next obsession will be. Personally, I think is will it be an obscure, brutally difficult indie RPG? Maybe. You need the mana. I kind of do, yeah. With Runic, I feel like it's worth it. Because we would like, we'll just keep drawing shit. So we can Cold Snap. I want to have that in front. Take a little bit of damage. Trigger meat on the bone. Asshole. Meat on the bone is actually a carry at this point. A zero cost on my deck? Yeah. Now we gotta remove some shit. Gotta remove a strike. I'll put two of them attacks, which could be Doom and Gloom and uh, go for the eyes. But it's probably gonna be two strikes. I feel like. One, two. Three, four, five. So it's like, uh, yeah, most likely gonna be strikes. Two turbo and test tempest. Ah, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. What we want is a multicast. We don't want a tempest. Lightning is only so good right now. Tempest is just not a good card. If we, if we had multicast, one hundred percent. But you gotta remember, we have a dark in the pool. I think I'll get self repair just to like get some uh, su sustain. I'll, I'll, we all them eat on the bone, but I, I really like this one. And we'll most likely be able to play it since we have a runic and turbos. Because then we can go beyond 53. Like beyond max or like half max. I think I'll save. Zero cost is nice, but we're primarily doing orbs right now. Also, FTL might be good, but I'm, I, don't I don't think I'll pay for it. What are we going up against right now? I think we'll go bonfire and upgrade um, either a turbo or a loop. We have two turbos, so I don't think we need to upgrade them, but upgrading the loop is gonna make our dark be like actually really, really good. Are we doing more shops? Yes, but it's in like quite a bit, so we can afford to buy something here and still be able to buy like a a good relic later. I'm just gonna, I'm just thinking about getting self repair or not. I feel like with meat on the bone, it's gonna be good enough. We're definitely gonna go. For, I'll, I'll just buy a focus potion. I call it today. Okay, this is a not a good start. This is a terrible start. This is not good. Do we pop this to get 10 more for the block? Or what? I cannot draw. Anything. Good. I'm literally gonna die to this because I don't have any fucking blocks.
That took so much fucking damage there, dude. But we heal, we kind of heal it back, but Jesus Christ, man. We don't need more focus right now. It's a clog. I would rather have them to be in the form of powers. Won't cost powers. Get the card back from the discard pile. Like these these strikes are fucking me so hard in the ass right now. I even I even removed one to avoid this, but I still got three of them so early. I don't need the hologram when we have a I, I gotta go to a we're gonna skip that at least for now. Ten damage to all. I do want to pop this for sure. Okay. Thank God for not giving me any fucking focus. I appreciate it. Very funny. But I guess I'll do it cast it so we get more armor. I don't have any way to walk it. There we go. FTL is gonna be nice to setting up Nunchaku. Now we want to have the upgraded... Uh, I feel like loop is nice. Just get Glacier. Good for block is that is. Yeah, just just get Glacier. It's like my favorite card of all time, but I just can't draw it. I can't, I can't find it. This needs to happen at some point. Sneko, my beloved. I want to get a Doom and Gloom, just get a Dark there. And we pop Lias, I think. Now we need some goddamn defense. How do we go about that? That's about it. Gain two and okay, kill me. Free loop XD. May I have a dual class, please? Well, we can actually just cast it once and we're good. There and there. No. Did you play Risk of Rain 2? I, I played it, but I don't play it right now. Um, I think we're good. Do you want the region potion though? I feel like the dex potion can come more in clutch than that. Now we should probably upgrade something. Again. Make this free, maybe. It's not like we have a power problem, though. 
Dex does not affect Frost, but it does affect my block card. So if I do draw some blocks, I can pop Dex in like 10, 10, 10, for example. One more focus. I mean, it's 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 one more focus, but yeah, it it also makes it take take longer for it to like go away. So I'll have like one more focus per turn. It's just it's nice. But this also is like a very good one. Also, a turbo would be nice. Just to get even more from them, so we can cast everything. But we don't really need that though, do we? We just need to draw them. That's the only thing. We want to go to another shop. So, cop, kunai, sure. Duplicate a card. We can get another defragment. Not a loop. What do we get? Defragment then? D double defrag? Just just straight up focus. It's also upgraded. Or we can get another sap for more orb control. But I feel like another uh, fo focus would be nice. Yeah, upgraded, uh, upgraded defrag is nice. So we're going to an are we going to an elite? We're going to a shop. So I don't I think I'll upgrade some shit. Thank you. Darkness, another loop, the one loop I feel is enough, but having another darkness for the boss would be cool. But is it kind of a clog though? You already have a darkness card, and we're not gonna use the upgraded effect of this. I feel like it's a clog at this point. All for one would be nice, just to like play more cards. Uh, we get we get actually both our, if we, if we use this we get both our turbos back. We will remove a strike for sure. Medkit is very nice with this hand though. We need medkit. When we have a runic pyramid, we actually need medkit. Yeah, because like if we get a wound, it will stuck be stuck in our hand forever. Or burns too, right? Now burns go still go through. You can't I can't not take medkit. I I need that. Like for later it's gonna be so big. Mm, I think we're good. I could do a or but I kind of want to keep it, right? Do I not want to keep it? Because we can do a next turn anyways. Because I was going to hit twice also. I'm going to get more shield for next turn. We get a defrag. Defense, defense, yep. We gotta start killing. go. Now compile... Do we need that? We have frost, we have lightning, and we have dark. So we can get a three card draw from this. And we have turbos. I feel like compile is the pick here. Not a shop. Not that I need it, but it's a nice heal, I guess. Can't buy anything other than a card that I already have two of. He basically has full health. I'll upgrade something. What do we want, though? Deal 10 damage. Could upgrade the turbo for later, or we could upgrade the bias to make it like better. But we already have two d d defrags, right? I'll make a turbo better for later and take it from there. Let's get the decks up. We'll take some damage here. I should have retained that, I'm really stupid. Where's my loop? No, we can't retain that. I want to dual cast this, I think, and dual dual cast again for later. We need to set up this. Also, now we will get more shield next turn. I think I'll pop this, just to trim my hand a bit. 
Got 16 armor now. Pop that. Go away. Oh, wait. Does that make it... Did I get an energy back from that? So I, 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 did I just negate the turbo? Do you negate turbo by having a med kit? No, because you lose the energy when you draw the card. I got an energy because I have none sugar. Yeah, that's that's right. That's right. I got really confused for a second. Uh, we have enough shield. I do want to get up. No. The next thing we want to get up is a. Uh, there are three decks. I want to get up a uh, fifteen. I'll pop this. Um. But well, I guess it didn't matter. Cold snap, sap. Doom is in the right spot right now. More decks. And I want to wait for this to trigger up a bunch. And in the meantime, we can block. 78 now. Just get some decks. Why not? One fourteen. One twenty six. Get Dex. One fifty times two. Oh, he's practically dead if I use that. Yeah, he's dead. See ya. That does it. And there's my multicast. Oh my god. Okay. There's my, my fucking bazillion damage nuke that we're trying to set up. Epic. No. Philosopher's Stone? I'm thinking Philosopher's Stone because we're past deck 2 and we don't no longer have the birds to worry about. We're not doing hearts. The Philosopher's Stone is definitely doable. Sneko Pyramid. <laughs> no! We're not doing Sneko Pyramid when you have a turbo see piece of shit. Fuck off. Choker is terrible though. I feel like Philosopher would be the play here. Philo and we also want that extra energy to get even more multicasts. Bonusalbina adding Nyaga. Best voice line. What I wanted to do was do like a, a, a redemption where like I it will pick a randoms up out of like ten or so sound effects. So like when you when you redeem Black Creatura, it will like play one of them randomly, which would be cooler. But I don't I I, I haven't looked into setting that up. It could be possible, but I, yeah. Maybe I might have to use a different service for it. Either way, normally, you would want the energy so you can play powers when you have them, so you don't discard them. But with Runic, with Runic Pyramid, you can always just wait a turn and play the power next turn, if you need to defend the first one. It's gonna give me 1-1 one, one multicast, but I feel like a regular multicast on a sufficient orb should be enough. But generally, enemies in Act 3, Act 3 don't do like a lot of multi-hits. There is the malformed maggot, who can be annoying with multi-hits. It's gonna make my multicast better, it's gonna make me play, play more cards. Especially with Runic, it's nice to have that energy, I guess. There's very few multis in Act 3. That's the thing. You can multicast earlier, technically. Yeah, I can get it out fast. I'd get it. We do want to get a reinforced body, though. That's something we really want. Also, we want to upgrade some stuff. Do we want to do elites? We do have dark. We are just really lacking in block. We don't block much. The only way we block is through regular block cards and through cold snap. So we want to have like reinforced or like well, if I get a charge battery or some shit, I'll definitely just get that. Or auto shields or just anything because like our block is terrible. I could check I could check for like a glacier or something. A glacier would be like a perfect thing. We can also remove a card, I feel like. Are there more shops in that? There's one on the right side of the one over there. It's a bit late though. I'll go and check for glaciers and go this path. And this is the problem. Great. With one defend. Awesome.
you kidding me? It needs to hit the right one right now. Good, thank you. For once it actually did that. What the fucker? We'll take 11 or we'll take less. We'll take less if we just skip the turn. We'll take 10, so 5 damage. Uh, we do want Ancient, actually. Stack could be nice because we have control of whenever we play it, but it's like, uh, it can only be played late and we can get we can get 21 block from it. We can get 21 block for it. Building by is cog plus 5 hawk is strong. No, no claw. Fuck claw. We need block, but it's like a scuffed block card. That's the problem. Let me get some water. That kind of sucks. I, I, I need more block. A reinforced body would be the one card we want. I, I'll, I'll have to skip it. We, we can't we can't play with that shit. And we get zero blocks. Recursion is very nice though with dark. Recursion is super nice. Uh, since our main my main damage is dark, we could get that. But we could also just remove some shit. And Lighten is good with our deck, yeah. Not that we have many 2 costs, we have Doom and Gloom. Yeah, they only, like, it would... <laughs> they're already all, like, one cost. There's one card that benefits from this. There's one card. If we had, uh, if we had a Meteor Strike, sure. But we don't. This is more orb control, which I'm a big fan of, and upgrade this, it costs less. It's so nice with dark, it's just nice to have it, so I'll get it. Now, as much as I want to do encounters, I do need to... Yeah, I, I have to do encounters almost, but then we have to do an elite. And here we get two question marks and encounter. We can just try to do question marks and try to avoid the hard fights, because then we might get the malformed. Okay, never mind. Well, we get, we get, we get fucking whatever. Take two damage. Okay. So we'll take even more damage. Thank you.
10 10 is not enough. There it is actually. Wait, what? Didn't he have 24? Must have misclicked or something. <coughs> Channel uh, for each enemy. We're going against Dono and Deca, so I guess like for that fight it's gonna be nice. Channel Frost and draw a card. I feel like it's good. I do want some more card draw to get those turbos into play. And actually now a hologram would be very good, so I can draw the turbo back into my deck. Card draw on some block. We, we, we whatever. Oh, yes. Good. Walk it. I guess it's dead. Goodbye. <laughs> Gambling shake. Very nice. Very nice. Add a power to your hand. Gambling shake's ship is so nice, though. Jesus Christ. Not with runic, maybe. I don't know, man. You have medkit. Overclock is good to medkit though, right? Draw two cards and then we can just, just take the burn away. Effectively free draw, yeah, fuck it. Should use artifact, I'm done. Will another cool headed hurt? Just get a bunch of frost and draw two cards, like just getting more card draw out. I don't think it would hurt, like we just want the card draw out so we can get the power step and running and shit. I'll take it. We could heal now, but I also want to upgrade. Um... Well, recursion is a nice upgrade, I guess. Now we have a lot of draw. Multicast is 1 plus plus 1, but we don't need that right now. What reminder, you could have gotten four turbos, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I know, I've gotten so many turbos. Overclock maybe, or recursion? Yeah, draw three cards for like nothing is pretty sick, with uh, with what we have. Just drawing more cards. Fuck. 
Fuck it. Madness. Mm. Heal 15, we don't need that. Lose 14, we definitely don't need that. Lose max HP. If it's innate, we can just take it away with gambling ship. And we have enough card draw to not care about it. But it's gonna it's gonna make my hand permanently have one less card slot. Because once we draw it, after that, we can't go make it go away. I don't want to madness, I want to draw cards that actually do something. You can't medkit a curse. You need a blue candle for that. You can medkit wounds and burns. I'm, I'm tempting for just... Uh, lose 4 max HP. Yeah. I'll just take the L. Another upgrade. Maybe recursion now. No, we want more card draw. It's the name of the game right now. Oh, nice decks. Cool. And then there's this asshole. But on a dark deck, it's not the end of the world. better. Dark Orb is up. Could pop biased. Okay, I'll, I'll hold on for now. We can just pop it whenever we want. That's my loop. Orb cycling. Defragment. Dual cast that, get that in the loop slot. Hit him once to fuck up that damage. 14 now, we have 18. Now we can wait. 58, god motherfucking damn. That's better. 25, we can easily defend that. Did I just turbo? I was gonna defend, whoops. Okay. We, have, we have one more turbo here, that's fine. 86 times 2? Uh, we wanna draw a... Uh, we can just multicast into that now. Yeah. Turbo multicast, yeah, I, 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 and I knew I had lethal, but we didn't take damage and we got the heal back. Like, I, yes, it was a misplay, but since we have runic, we just kept it. It's like, actually, when you're doing a dark build, runic, I found out now, your runic is so fucking good. Because if you want to use the, the, the dual cast or some shit at another point, you can just do that. It's totally fine. Now, getting one more block card here, I feel like is nice, because we don't have much of it. We are relying on orbs right now, and we can definitely get some block. And runic just makes your deck really consistent, and you can set up, you can set up, like... The issue with playing dark is that it requires a lot of orb management and setup, but I don't need consume, so, so yeah. Could get the relic here, but I do want to go check the shop, honestly. Uh, we could do get the relic, heal, and upgrade my, or upgrade the card, and then take it from there. We could see what it is, but like, I feel like that's gonna cringe. Um, I would like to check the shop for a runic capacitor. Because a runic capacitor is gonna save my fucking life at this point. If I have one more orb slot that I can work with here, when I have two defragments and an AI, getting all those frost orbs up is gonna be a big fucking deal. I wanna just play my. And we also had this meal ticket, so we should just go to the shop, honestly. We got a heal there, and we get to check the shop. Fuck it. Don't need a cursion right now. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, much better. Nice. 
Nine, nine. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Or we could just dual cast it. Eight, eight. Oh, we're good. Go away. Good. Three decks. Twelve x two. We have eighteen. We, have, we don't even take damage here. Let's get that up. Yeah, see ya. Another <laughs> nah, no, no, no. We only need one. Uh, Frost and I would be a good one here, I think. I think. Out of everything here, I feel like Frost and I would be a one we can go for. We can also take the bronze portion and make it impressive with a capacity one to get like super strong in one uh, one fight. I feel like that would be a bigger uh, impact. Um. Yeah, I could also remove a card, just like remove a strike because we don't need them. Like we do not use strikes right now. Frozen I run, see you guys in three hours. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, with the card draw we have, I don't feel like it's necessary. Because we're just gonna draw a bunch of shit anyways. Streamer, did installing the mod the Spire for the Twitch extension not work? Nope, did not. I got an error. The error said, message the developer. I messaged the developer, and the developer didn't reply. And that was three weeks ago, so. Didn't work out. Remove strike and potion. 120 by 78. We actually have perfect setup for that. Yeah, let's remove a strike. And we can exactly buy that. And not get thorns. There we go. Zero gold. Perfect. Gunnar Hell, thank you for tier one. Indeed. For oh, you begin to, of course I do. Lose defend. I mean, do we really need them? I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose that either. But I, I don't want to lose these two, so I guess I'll go with the defend. Based. Out of these, I think maybe Turbo to make... Turbo would give this one more cast. Upgrading this would give it one more cast, but Turbo in general will just give me more energy. I feel like Turbo here is the play. Okay. The issue now is... When do I pop the potions? When do I pop them? I don't know. 13 times 2, that's gonna hurt. Do you want to go for the ice and just burn an artifact, I guess? It's not gonna. We want to draw other things, right? We got or we got this setup. We got this setup. That's very good. Pop artifact before bias. That's the thing. Do I do I pop that? I'll be strong. Ten trade on. Thank you for the prime. I know it does. That's why I have the artifact. That's the only reason I, I kept the artifact, is that I can remove a, a negative debuff and just get four focus. I, mean, I guess we can use that for this fight and use the opulenty for the next one. Since I drew biased immediately. Yeah. I almost have to pop this right now. I need to get that off, but I... Uh, probably gonna want to stay from next turn in the wish.
Okay. Fuck it. Can I get some card rolls, man? Just use this to for defense. Yeah. And we got the dark on the loop, which is nice. I can multicast it, I guess. Yeah, can hear it get dark over there. You have to do it now. But before we do it, we want to let make da take damage and deal damage. Almost little. 16, 5. It's little on him now. And the next 116 is gonna go to him. Multicast now would be a lethal. Um, yeah, we kind of have to kill him, so I guess I have no choice. Yeah. Good stuff. X2 33 plus 10 40 I'll be to take one damage here I guess Fine Oh shit One boss done Heal Fine keeper Do you want to just keep shit in our hand? I want to keep this for next turn when you're gonna, it's gonna attack Don't need that yet. Defend could be nice for next turn. I think. Uh, I don't need that, but these two are nice to have. Well, turbo. Mm -hmm. Glad I got that. Six six. Now seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we, if we just exhaust this deck here, we can set up dark. We yeah, let's just do that. One, two, three, four. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Dark is up. 10, 11, 12. We'll take some damage. Nice.
888-666 plus 7. Six, eighteen, no, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-five. Should be good here. No. Yeah. Ah, uh, we have twelve. Nine, nine. Compile driver. Because now we want to get this one all the way over here to just build it up. I think I'll just dual cast this to get some defense. Cycler orbs. We don't need much more. Nine. I'm I feel like this is going to be over soon. We could pop bias right now. First, just did the. Uh, what could we draw? Get some more cards in their hand, which is always nice. Thirty. We have enough defense, and then we can pop an uh, overclock because we're gonna want to draw them anyways. Get that away. We want to move this all the way over here, so... Now we'll have them uh, get that there. Push that there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pop cool head, 32, 41. In some block. Now we have lethal in just uh, next turn, I think. Turbo, turbo, multi cast, he's dead. What, 89? Yeah. 1, 10. Goodbye. Stop, we beat A20! We beat A20 with, uh, with this guy. Nice. Hmm. Very good. And did I save scum a single time? Don't think I did. Maybe I did once like in the beginning or something because I was pissed off. But ever since I started playing Dark Man, dude, Dark and Runic Pyramid is so fucking good. And Runic Pyramid is fucking insane against the Timekeeper. Because his draw draw like a debuff. You draw one less card, it's so fucking scuffed. Especially when you wanna try to set up those um those uh like dark orbs.